Shannon. So today I'm doing a Lab Rats Elite Force update. Um, oh, Lab Rats Elite Force, if you didn't already know, this is a combination of Lab Rats and Mighty Man. Anyway, uh, Lab Rats Elite Force, Lab Rats, sorry, not Lab Rats Elite Force, Lab Rats is a bunch of trash. Lab Rats is a show, a Disney XD show about bionic teenagers who are living a normal life but their secret gets find out uh trying to keep their secret they eventually it eventually finds out the the world eventually finds out and then they live like bionic life with a bunch of these bionic students that they're battling anyway you've probably already seen labyrinths if you're watching this but we're gonna go over the cast the cast is billy younger who plays chase spencer Bildman who plays spen Sir Boldman who plays Spencer Boldman. Spencer Boldman who plays Adam. Brie, Kelly Berglund who plays Brie. Leo Tyrell Jackson Williams who plays Leo Dooley. And Hal Sparks who plays Donald Davenport. The other ones are Donald Davenport. Okay, recurring characters. This is a long list. Uh, there's Tasha, Eddie, Perry, Douglas, Caitlin, Victor, Crane, Daniel, Scott, Janelle, Marcus, Sebastian, Giselle, Lexi, Taylor, Logan, Bob, and Spin. So, now, um, so, that was actually not that long, and you guys already know what you know about Roberts. So, I'm gonna tell you right now, leave this video if you have not seen Labrats, The Vanishing, or Mighty Med, Mother of All Villains, leave this video now, because in between each part there will be breaks, and I will be showing clips from... Mainly Lab Rats Vanishing, but when I do Lab Rats cast, I mean, when I do Mighty Men cast, it'll be Mighty Men Mother of All Villains. So leave this video now if you have not seen either of those. And part one is over. We're going to go show a clip of Lab Rats Vanishing and part two. But if you are leaving, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and um, yeah, leave this video. Don't like, don't keep watching or there'll be spoilers. Say now, Brie. The boys are easily manipulated when their masculinity is threatened. Whatever. Okay. So, part two is Mighty Med ideas. So, the main plot is there are these two boys who walk into this hospital, my superhero hospital, and they are not supposed to be there. And they ending the end up getting a job there in the superhero Skylar Storm. Lose, lost her powers, and one of the boys has a crush on her. There's like three different main plot stories in Mighty Man, and you guys probably already know all of them. Otherwise, you would have left this video. So, the cast is Bradley Stephen Perry, who plays Kaz. Kaz and Oliver do not have last names. Jake Short, who plays Oliver. Paris Pearl, who plays Skylar Storm. Uh, Devin Lias or Lios, or I don't know how to say his last name. Uh, plays Alan Diaz, and in the second season, Hoggy Isaac becomes a main cast member, and he plays Gus. In the first season, he was just like Corey Falgamingus, who plays Farkle in the first season from Kermit's World. Anyway, um, so recurring characters are Horace Diaz. So this, um, actually, I'm gonna do their friends are Jordan and Stephanie. Then like Mighty Med people are Horace. Diaz, Lizard Man, Philip, Tecton, and then superheroes are Tecton, Solar Fire, Blue Tornado, Crusher, Incognito, Grey Granite, Neo Cortex, Gamma Girl, and Hapax. And there's a bunch of other ones, but these are just like the main ones. And then the villains, main villains are the Annihilator, Wallace and Clyde, Megahertz, Experian, Mr. Terror, and Mort, who works for Mr. Terror. Mr. Terror and Mort are not that big until season two, but. Otherwise, they are really big. So that is Mighty Med Main Ideas, and that was much shorter than the Lab Rats one. Now we're going to show a clip from Mighty Med Mother of All Villains. The qual HD quality is not great, but it's at least something. So we're going to roll the next clip, and our next part will be Lab Rats Elite Force Main Ideas. So roll the next clip. 
Wilbur. You have to face the truth. Oh, come on. Tell me you don't want to try this. There we go. Now the lighting is working again. Okay. So elaborate to for its main ideas. Part three. I hope you guys like that clip. That's one of my favorite clips. So, um, Labyrinth Elite Force is set in the Mighty Med world. Not Mighty Med world. In the Labyrinth world. There's only 50-50 chance of me getting that right. Uh, Kaz, Oliver, and Skyler join forces with Chase and Bree to form a powerful Elite Force team that combines bionic abilities and super abilities. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm getting all the information off my phone. Anyway. Uh, so the cast is, um... As you know, in as you saw in Live Rise Finishing, Adam and Leo volunteer to be the two, the two who stay back at the academy. So they are not in Live Rise Elite Force. Um, Bradley Stephen Perry, who plays Kaz, and William Brent, who plays Chase. Now you're probably thinking, like, what the heck? Billy Unger plays Chase. Who the heck is William Brent? Yes, it's still the same person. Don't worry, I'm not like changing this. Give you spoiler alert. Oh no, it's a different person. Billy Unger just decides to go by this new name. William Brent, I guess, if that is true, we'll find out in the theme song when the first episode comes out on March 2nd. That's less than a month away. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Anyway, so he's going by William Brent, so from now on, I will refer to Billy Munger as William Brent. So if you're wondering why I say William Brent, I mean Billy Munger. Billy Unger. So just think about that. Anyway. So William Brent, who plays Chase, and Jake Short, who plays Oliver, Paris Pro, who plays Skylar Storm, and Kelly Berglund, who plays Brie Davenport. Um, so we don't know why Alan and Gus are not in Lyra's Elite Force. We will most likely find out in the first episode. The first episode is called The Rise of Five. Um, it's guest starring Hal Sparks as Donald Davenport, obviously. I mean, why would he not be in the first episode? Then there's Booba Stewart, who plays Roman, and Ryan Parter, who plays Riker. Booba Stewart is from Descendants, Ryan Potter is from Big Hero 6, and Roman, Roman and Riker are two shapeshifters, and if you know anything about Mighty Man, shapeshifters are villains, villains, and we don't know if there are any other main characters, there may be other ones, but we don't know. Down in the description below, if you want to know anything, any more about any of this, there will be three links, one to Wikipedia that lists episodes, cast, everything you know, don't be fooled, Wikipedia is great for this kind of stuff. Then there's another one that's like Wiki, which is also Wikipedia, but it's different, and it has like pictures and stuff with their really cool new mission suits. I'll put a picture of that after the clip, that'll be like three seconds. And then, um, yeah, so in the main characters, recurring characters and guest star and appearances are... Douglas and Donald Davenport are going to be, again, recurring characters. Donald Davenport is not going to be a main character because, as you saw in Season 4, Douglas appeared more times than Donald, and Donald was in the main cast, but Douglas wasn't. So, uh, his role kind of shrunk down after they weren't in Mission Creek. And they're not going to be in Mission Creek anymore, so, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming not. I don't know. I'd be surprised if they were in Mission Creek. No, they're not. They're in Centium or Centum. One of the two. I don't know which one of these. Alan and Gus will likely return in at least the first episode. And Adam and Leo, or Spencer Boldman and Tyrell Jackson and Williams, will be making guest star appearances, or at least one. Um, and most likely Perry and Tasha are coming back, because Tasha was pregnant, so that kind of, you know. Okay. So that was Labrat's um, Elite Force Main Ideas, Part 3. Next there's Part 4, which is, like, setting and introducing the first episode main plot. So, please continue watching the next clip of Lab Rats the Vanishing. And then we will show... Then we'll do Part 4 and show the last clip, and that's it. So, we're gonna roll the next clip and start Part 4. Marcus is a bionic android. Yes, Donnie. And you're a middle-aged man. It's nice to see you're keeping up. The first episode main plot is Dav Mr. Donald introduces Bree and Chase to their new headquarters, a high-tech, high-rise penthouse in Centum City or Centium City. Again, I don't know which one. 
and their new team members who are Kaz, Oliver, and Skylar. They are learning to work together as a team, but Kaz disagree, disagrees with Chase's leadership style and sets off to find the villains on his own. He comes face to face with Roman and Riker, um, who have the intent of who are shapeshifters who have the intent of annihilating all superheroes. So that might be a spoiler, but I don't think it is because that just shows you what they want to do. That doesn't tell you what they're gonna do or anything that's going to happen. But then it says like they must work together to fight them off. So I'm pretty sure the first episode is going to be an hour episode. Because the first part, you kind of have to explain everything. What the heck happened to... Donald has to explain their whole mission. And what the point is. Uh, you kind of got to explain what the heck happened to Mighty Med. Hello. Mother of All Villains was a cliffhanger. If you didn't know that, it was. So, um, actually I have five websites down there. The, also the one to the original... Lab Rats Elite, Lab Rats site, and the one to the original Mighty Med site. And that ha also has a bunch of other links, external links that you can go to. Anyway. I'm using my hands a lot. Anyway, so, um, the first part of that episode is most likely them, um, Donald explaining their new mission and saying kind of like, what the heck happened to Mighty Med? Um, like, Ma Oliver's mom. That was one of the main cliffhangers. And that kind of stuff. And stuff like cliffhangers, like the ones in Lab It's Elite Force, like Tasha being pregnant, that will most likely be continued later on in Lab It's Elite Force, like later on. So, that's stuff you don't have to worry about for the first episode. But, yeah, so most likely the first episode is going to be an hour episode. Like, the first part is them explaining everything, and then the second part of the episode is, like, any other random unimportant episode that is kind of like, uh, Roman and Riker, that kind of unimportant stuff. Like the first episode of Lab Rats, how it was a cliffhanger where they explained everything and then kind of had, like, a problem, and then explained more, and then they got replaced with robots, and then the rest of it was kind of like a regular whatever episode. That's like, oh, it gets resolved by the end. So, thank you everyone for watching. Now we're going to roll the next one minute clip and do the conclusion. Let's roll the clip. So thank you everyone so wa so much for watching this video. I am Shannon. This is a lollipop, and this is my monkey Caleb. Caleb, and we thank you for watching this video. Now please like this video, like this video, and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this, more updates, more talks, more info, everything, all that kind of stuff. Comment down below. If you think in Lab Arts of Vanishing, Skylar, Oliver, and or Kaz should have showed up at like the end where one of them just walks down the street like, oh hey, you're kind of one of your partners, that kind of thing where they show up. That totally should have happened. I think that should have happened. So comment below if you think that should have happened and let us know what we should do, what video we should do next. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.